Kayak Fishing Tales is brought to you by Ocean Kayak, makers of the Trident and Ultra series of fishing kayaks, and the Torque, which features a removable Minn Kota motor. Check them out at OceanKayak.com. But now the boys are headed to new fishing grounds aboard the Captain Gabby, an old shrimping boat converted into the ultimate kayak adventure tripping vessel. With rooms for six plus the crew, a specially designed kayak loading and unloading winch, and a rooftop deck that provides a magnificent view of the winding marshes, there's simply no better way for a kayak angler to experience the coastal marshes than the Captain Gabby. My name is Patrick Hagen. Um, we're uh, off St. Simons Island in Village Creek, and we're on a 1978 42-foot shrimp boat. Well, the, the original idea behind the, the Captain Gabby was uh, to, to open up more inaccessible areas of Georgia to paddlers that wouldn't normally be able to get there. So whether it's barrier islands or up some of our, our larger rivers, uh, we just want to be able to accommodate people overnight and allow them to get to these pristine places that are normally uh, very difficult to access by paddle alone. Uh, I, I guess our primary focus initially was going to be sea kayaking and exploration, uh, but now that the kayak fishing is really taking off locally, uh, that's probably going to be one of our specialties, doing kayaking trips just like this. Um, and of course we're open to other things as well, you know, whether it's birding trips or just going to goof off at the beach or, you know, whatever. After a few long days of pounding weeds, Jim and the gang decide to change tactics and hit some deeper water. Despite a strong tidal current and muddy water, the gamble paid off and the boys finally found the fish that they were looking for. Shortly after dropping bait, Jim hooked up with the best redfish of the trip. Yeah! Just as Jim was releasing the big red, Ken's reel started screaming. Although not what he was targeting, a very large ray bent his heavy musky rod in half and provided one of the hardest fought battles he'd ever experienced. I just couldn't put enough pressure on it, so I just stopped the line with my thumb on the, uh, on the spool, and it's just too much. Too much for the mono.